<laughs> this, it, it's like a dunce goal. Like you, you, I feel, for, I really do feel for the defender. I really do feel for you, my bro. What is going on, guys? It is JJ here, back with another Europa League reaction video, and it is, of course, to what is arguably one of my favorite uh, matches so far this week. Obviously, I think nothing can top the Man City Tottenham match. The Ajax Juventus match was probably second, uh, and this Chelsea versus Slavia Prague match was third. This match was. It was a turn of emotion. It was a very big turn of emotion. Chelsea did great in the first half. Got off to a really fast start. Slavia Prague showed all showed all of their heart, uh, put all of their effort into making a comeback. Unfortunately, they were unable to do. Oh, I say, unfortunately for them, fortunate for myself as a Chelsea fan that they didn't make a comeback. But they made they made a great showing nonetheless. So we're gonna take a look at some of the highlights from the Chelsea versus Slavia Prague match because it was it was amazing guys it really was it was so exciting especially the last about 40 minutes of the match were just on edge of your seat unreal so without further ado let's get into the video as well guys you can find the original video just down in the description below and I do apologize for some blurs on the screen uh, it's just so you guys can see it rather than just having to hear it so let's do it this Pedro, Pedro was on one. He, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I think Hudson Odoi's performance against Liverpool, um, it really hurt his stock with Maurizio Sarri because he did absolutely nothing. Um, and Pedro with this performance was like a, a shock shock because like he woke up. It's like he arose from the dead. Uh, this lineup, I honestly think, if you insert Jorginho and Loftus Cheek into this lineup, I would, I would accept it. If, if I'm honest as a Chelsea fan, I still want Hudson Odoi to get valuable playing time. But if Pedro's doing this, it's hard to take him out of the team. I'm, I'm, I'm split. I'm very split. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, it's not good progress, it's not good progress, but still, I mean, they proved they can battle it out. I thought Hazard should have shot. I don't know if that this, I don't, obviously this won't count as a Hazard assist, it kind of sucks because it was a great, it's, that's fantastic vision from him. This, it, it's like a dunce goal, like you, you, I feel, for, I really do feel for the defender. I really do feel for you, my bro. It, it's just really unlucky. It, it's like, it's, there's not much you can really do there, but, it, but if he's not there, and goal of is putting that away. So, that I feel like this, it's going to the net either way. Goalkeeper's rendered useless. This was, yeah. That, that's unlucky aim by Pedro, and an even more unlucky header by the Slavia defender. Uh, it's just, it's all around, it's just a little sad, but it worked out for Chelsea. And so this is what I'm talking about, uh, I guess, for the entire game. I thought Slavia Prague came to play. They they came to Stamford Bridge ready to play, and it was it was so evident. The Giroud goal, my G Giroud. Giroud is I, I mean he had the I believe he had the assist for the first Pedro goal. Um, and then him getting on the score sheet himself. Why are we not starting him at the? Just start him at this point. If he's gonna, he's gonna leave anyway. Get the most out of him, because the guy is he's he's been putting on a show. He really has been that good in the Europa League. That was a beautiful pass from Pedro. I love this type of Chelsea. I love this Chelsea. It's when we're scoring benevolently that, that you know, it, it feels good to watch. That was a great idea. It was, it was a fantastic idea. I feel like he got ahead of the ball. Ну вот, пожалуй, антипример был. И тут комбинация против такой сильной команды. Trying to stop the corner. Because uh, then this happens. That is, that is an amazing header. 
The aim on that header is astounding. That hit the perfect part of his head and went to the perfect spot in the net. That, that, was, that took me off guard. And that woke up Slavia Prague. That header essentially woke them up out of a slumber because the save from Kepa, my G with the, with the cold hands, Pedro getting to the little dink ball first, gave Chelsea the fourth goal. I still was a bit uneasy at this time. Uh, but I feel like I felt like it was over. It was over at this point. Um, that's just unlucky again for the defender to slide at that last moment. And for them not to get to the ball first. That's just... That's all I can describe for that is for Slavia Prague. Or Slavia Praha, I apologize. If, if people prefer Prague, Praha, I, I, I apologize. I, I try to take both of them. No. Um, it was just an unlucky performance in general. It just really was. Speaking of unlucky, um, I've come to the conclusion uh, that Kepa Ariza Balaga or Aretha Balaga um, can't handle long shots. Um, if you shoot from distance against him, I don't think his feet can move quick enough. Uh, as evidenced by Mo Salah, and as evidence in this game. I mean, look at look at this final long shot. That is a worldy goal. And I give you all props. I I don't know how to say his name. Is it is it it's not it's not Sukic, is it like Se Sevich? I apologize if I'm butchering that name. Uh, but I know he had a brace in the game and, and both of them were just beautiful shots from nearly the same position, but with different feet. So mad props to you. Uh, mad props to Slavia Prague. You eliminated Sevilla uh, in the round of 16. You come, come up against what would be a superior Chelsea side. And in the first game, you showed nothing but heart, nothing but fight. And the second leg, you showed the exact same thing. So I give mad props to you guys um, for being what was arguably, I think, one of the Cinderella's of the Europa League. You guys were amazing to watch. Uh, and Chelsea... Now I have a date with Eintracht Frankfurt. If you haven't checked out any of the other videos on the channel in the Europa League, please go check out the Eintracht Frankfurt video. I mean, obviously, all the other videos will still be on the channel. Um, so definitely go check those out as well. But Frankfurt, they look good. They look very good in play. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a tough one for the semifinals. Chelsea's, Chelsea's no guarantees on their way through. And I think Slavia Prague was a perfect reminder of that. Um, but let me know you guys' thoughts on the match down in the comments below. Uh, shout out to all my, you know, my Czech Eastern Europeans, this, you know, the Serbia region as well, uh, because this is a team to be really proud of from, from the Europa League. And just from a footballing standard, they played absolutely wonderful. And they were a pleasure to watch, especially against Sevilla. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the match down in the comments below and on the tie in general. And peace.